Chen Heiwen criticized Zhu Jing Yu Xiao the posts on Weibo. Chen Heiwen has spoken out for the first time after being accused of controversial behavior with Zhu Jing Yi in Chinese Paladin 4. Some believe he is clearly talking about Zhu Jing Yi, while others speculate that it might include many other situations, possibly involving Zhao Lucy. However, some simply think he is discussing the characters in the movie. The last two perspectives, of course, have received less support. Before the broadcast of Chinese Paladin 4, the controversy between Chen Heiwen and Zhu Jing Yi contradicted the initial agreement, causing a huge uproar online. Chen Heian's turnaround attitude left fans and many netizens extremely angry, feeling disappointed with the 4,000-year beauty. However, this couldn't change the outcome, and in the end, Chen Heian successfully turned himself from a condemned person to an ordinary one. As of now, China's Paladin 4 has been on the IKLIE platform for nearly a week, but people are more interested in the gossip related to the film rather than the plot. From the outbreak of noise until now, Aside from the studio statements, Chen Heiwen has not taken specific actions until the evening of the 22nd of January, 2024, after the latest episode of Chinese Paladin 4 aired. The male actor posted his first post on his personal Weibo account. Specifically, the male actor with the surname Chen said, Today, watching the movie, I feel very heartbroken. Hug tightly the Tian Ha. The character played by Chen Heian in Chinese Paladin 4. Tian Ha is a strong child. He promised his father not to cry. Despite how much blame and mockery he received, he still persisted. Some said he was useless, but he is already outstanding. Some believe that Chen Heian shares not only express sympathy for the character but also imply the difficulties he is currently experiencing, continuously receiving countless criticisms from the public. He feels he is relying on the support behind him, the Ikei Prince, Ikei, willing to compete with seniors at all costs. China's Paladin 4 is still airing on the Ikei platform, but the film's performance is relatively poor, with the heat of the film not yet reaching 10,000 points, and it is not eye-catching in various rankings. Over the years, Zhu Jingyi has been a controversial figure in terms of acting and work attitude. At the end of last year, the Chinese entertainment industry was lively and filled with various entertainment activities and award ceremonies. Among them, the red carpet of the events attracted the attention of the media and the audience. However, this year, Zhu Jingye has disappeared. At the same time, post-90s beauties such as Zhao Lusi, Bailo, Wu Shuhan, Quan Xiaodong, Wang Sunian, etc., have caused a sensation on the red carpet of the event. This makes the audience question Zhu Jingyi's absence. According to Sina's report, in 2023, Zhu Jingyi's popularity, status, and appearance frequency have sharply declined. The actress's participation in projects no longer attracts attention. The number of Zhu Jingyi's advertising contracts, TV program invitations, magazine shoots, etc., has also significantly decreased. This year, Despite being given a potentially promising role in Variety, Zhu Jingyi once again disappointed. Chinese media criticized Zhu Jingyi for placing too much emphasis on appearance and looks rather than focusing on improving acting skills. After two years without new works, the 4,000-year beauty played by her once again disappointed in Variety. The highlights of her career are still just the title of 4,000-year beauty given by the media. Zhu Jingyi is still considered a walking vase, more like an internet celebrity than an actress. In many cases, her overly dazzling appearance becomes her fatal weakness, making the performance of the film not authentic enough, and emotions appear weak. CCTV criticized actors who do not use their original voices and rely almost entirely on dubbing actors in costume dramas. Zhu Jingyi was singled out by the audience for almost completely relying on dubbing actors. Zhu Jingye has starred in six costume dramas but has never used her original voice for any role. Through projects such as Talent, Let's Fall in Love Under the Full Moon, Ink South Pool, and others, Zhu Jingye is linked to poor performances. In 2021, despite participating in three films, she won the Worst Actress Award at the Chinese Golden Broom Awards, equivalent to the Razzie Awards in China. In addition to stiff expressions, 
Ju Jin Yi also showed an overly casual attitude in her performances, with poor handling of dialogues and an unwillingness to sacrifice herself for the characters. It is difficult for the audience to distinguish the various roles because, in terms of background and origin, each character is almost identical. Ju Jin Yi always wears heavy makeup, dresses carefully, even when playing a boy, being kidnapped, playing a scholar, or going to the battlefield. Rather than focusing on improving acting skills, Ju Jin Yi only cares about covering up flaws in appearance, such as sparse hair, limited height, and sagging shoulders. Although she rose to fame relatively early, the actress born in 1994 is currently lagging behind her peers, such as Zhao Lucy, Wu Xu Hung, Bei Luo, etc., in terms of popularity and outstanding works. In surveys on forums such as Dubin and Hupu, audiences express a reluctance to watch films featuring Ju Jin Yi. In the midst of the ongoing controversy surrounding Chen Taiwan and Ju Jin Yi, Fans and industry observers express hope for a swift resolution of the misunderstandings between the two actors. The uncertainties and tensions have not only affected the atmosphere around Chinese Paladin 4 but also raised concerns about the potential impact on their future collaborations within the entertainment industry. Many fans are eagerly anticipating a positive turn of events, wishing for both Chen Taiwan and Zhu Jinyi to find common ground and resolve their differences amicably. The success of Chinese Paladin 4 and the potential for future collaborations could be greatly enhanced if the two actors could come together to address any issues that may exist between them. In the entertainment industry, smooth working relationships are crucial for the success of projects, and the chemistry between co-stars often plays a significant role in the audience's reception. Fans express their desire to see Chen Taiwan and Zhu Jin Yi reconcile and build a professional rapport that could lead to fruitful collaborations in the future. Industry experts also weigh in on the importance of resolving conflicts promptly, as a positive working relationship between actors contributes to a harmonious working environment. The resolution of any misunderstandings could pave the way for a collaborative and cooperative atmosphere benefiting not only the actors involved but also the entire production team. While the public is keen on enjoying the entertainment provided by these talented individuals, they also hope for a positive resolution that reflects well on the professionalism and integrity of both Chen Taiwan and Zhu Jinyi. The anticipation for a swift and amicable resolution stems from the desire to witness the talents of these actors shine in future projects without the shadow of discord. In the dynamic landscape of the entertainment industry, where relationships and collaborations are pivotal, fans and industry enthusiasts remain hopeful that Chen Taiwan and Zhu Jin Yi can overcome their differences and forge a path towards a future filled with successful and enjoyable projects. The prospect of witnessing their talents come together in harmony is a shared aspiration among supporters, and the resolution of any conflicts would undoubtedly contribute to a more positive and vibrant industry landscape.